to Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's scripture reading is James chapter 1, verses 22 through 25. God's Word says this, But be doers of the Word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the Word, and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away, and at once forgets what he was like. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. This passage is foundational to our understanding of what we are meant to do when we hear the word of God. That it says it explicitly in verse 22 that we are not just meant to hear the word of God, but we are meant to do something with it. And I love that this text is not just calling us to do something, but it's actually calling us to become somebody. That the Greek construction for become for be doers of the word is actually this idea of becoming a doer of the word. That it is something that we grow into. It is something that we become. And we become things by practicing them, by doing them again and again. Um, That we are not just meant to hear the word and then forget what we have heard, like we are a man staring into a mirror who immediately forgets what he looks like. But instead, we are meant to put it into practice and to do something with it. That God is not just desiring for us to be smarter sinners, but he wants us to be transformed into the image of Christ. So maybe think about it this way. Imagine there's a husband and a wife, um, and the wife says to the husband, hey, the trash is full. Now, um, her intentions are very pure here, but she's not just letting him know there's not enough surface area left in the trash can, but instead, she's wanting him to do something with this information. And in the same way, God has spoken to us. And it's not just for the sake of knowledge. It's for the sake of transformation. It's for the sake of action. So may we receive the word of God, be it from a Sunday sermon or our own personal Bible reading, and may we be doers, maybe we become doers of the word and not just hearers. Let's pray to our God now. Our Father, we thank you for your word. We pray that by the power of your spirit, James chapter 1, verses 23 through 25 would change us. And Lord, we do pray that by the power of your Holy Spirit, that we would not just be hearers of the word, but we would be doers of the word. Father, would you help us to become people when we hear your word, that we immediately respond to that word, that we do not, um, Lord, keep it to ourselves or just grow smarter in our knowledge, but it would always be for the growth of your kingdom and the good of people. So, Lord, Lord, help us today, um, God, to, to, to take your word into our hearts and to do something with it. May we become more like Jesus. And we pray these things today in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.